After a day of celebrations for Team Toyota Gazoo Racing South Africa, the challenge was merely beginning. As drivers, navigators, mechanics and support staff readied themselves for Stage 2 of the Dakar Rally. Just to recap, the opening stage between Asuncion in Paraguay and Resistencia in Argentina proved to be an extremely successful one for the South African outfit, as Nasser Alatia, making his debut for the team, finished quickest alongside his French co-driver, Mathieu Buemel. Uh, now, uh, with the Toyota Gazoo team, uh, with the new regulation, with the 38 uh, mil stricter, uh, the car is really uh, good and fast and uh, we try to, to win this, uh, this uh, Dakar because this is my uh, job to be here. Alatia managed to grab first place on day one despite experiencing a small problem along the way. Yeah, he, he ended the, the stage, it was a bit of a fright, there was a, a fire under the bonnet. Not a big one, but caused by oil, but uh, we got one of the best teams there is, so uh, I don't see any big problems there. While the opening stage was a mere 39 kilometers, it was a completely different story on day two, as competitors had to make the 803 kilometer trek between Resistencia and Tucumán, 275 kilometers of which were timed. Alatia and Buamel came home in second place, one minute and 23 seconds behind Sebastian Loeb and Daniel Elena, to put them second overall, while Janil de Villiers and Dirk von Zitzewitz finished in fourth place. Yeah, another hot day, both here in the bivouac right now and on the stages. NASA second overall today and Janil fourth overall, just one second behind Carlos. But the Peugeot's had the run for us today. A bit surprising, but uh, there again, when we found out what the stage was like, it was flat out. They were doing uh, 200 k's an hour in places. So I think the buggies with the two-wheel drive and lighter stuff probably was their day today. So I'm happy where we are. It was OK. I think um, in the end, we had a pretty good day. Uh, it was very, very fast stage. Um, you know, just long sections uh, flat out. And the first 100 k's, it's actually, um, you know, some big, big holes. Uh, you know, you're doing 180, 190 k's an hour with big holes coming up, which, you know, are not really marked, so you've got to look for it. So, a little bit of heart in the mouth stuff, but, you know, other than that, um, I think we had, a, we had a reasonably good day. I think it was a day that suited the, the, the Peugeot cars. Um, but, uh, you know, the fact that we didn't lose uh, too much time to them is, is encouraging. Um, Tomorrow we're going to altitude, so let's see how it goes up there, but uh, you know, all in all a good day. Yeah, it's a good day and uh, day two, uh, we finished second, uh, yesterday we win the stage and uh, today we open all the way and uh, we don't take any risk and we finish second, uh, I think it will be good uh, position for tomorrow. Prior to Dakar 2017, the team worked hard to continue the development of the Toyota Hilux. They made some amazing strides, which, together with some rule changes, resulted in Alatia and Buamel's winning the opening stage. The Hilux this year is definitely uh, the best Hilux I've driven. Um, we've made improvements everywhere, engine, suspension, uh, the whole lot. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to it, you know, and, and having NASA as a teammate, we, uh, it's going to help a lot, you know, and um, we, uh, we're definitely going to go, go out there and go and do our best and see if we can, uh, um, you know, we can, we, can, we can get there, we can get to the front. I'm really so happy, you know, to be uh, part of the teams in the Toyota South Africa and uh, to be also drive with the Genil uh, de Villiers because uh, I know him for a long time, you know, and uh, this is really a great uh, moment for me. I will do the maximum uh, for the teams and uh, to win uh, Dakar 2017. It's kind of an evolution of the four-wheel drive car that we've been running for two years, and uh, this is, Janil said it's the best Hilux he's ever driven. Uh, we've done a, a little bit and tweaks to the engine which have made it better all round. The suspension we've uh, done quite a lot of work on, so that's, that's a big step in the one direction. And the limited slip differentials, uh, we've been tuning those. So overall the package is the best we've ever had. 
and certainly Nessa and Janil say the car is great. All these little bits together go to make a better product and uh, reliability is always key. Of course, you know, in Dakar if you stop or break down, so with the Hilux we've got great reliability in the history. Uh, we're sure that we've done everything we can to make it reliable uh, going forward and I think that that might well be the key factor for uh, the final outcome of this Dakar. Well, we know he can drive, but let's find out more about the man that is Nasser Alatia. Actually, uh, there is no one uh, of the family uh, doing uh, racing, you know, just only me, you know. But uh, I start uh, in, uh, in 90, uh, beginning of 90, and uh, just only uh, national uh, race and uh, small race. Uh, it was uh, cross country uh, race and uh, and then uh, I compete all the race in, uh, in 90. Uh, yeah, from this time uh, I was really uh, loving uh, the motorsport. I start uh, 2004, uh, Dakar, and uh, until 2007, 2008 it was uh, cancelled. Uh, and then uh, we came back here to South America from 2009. Uh, from 2009, uh, really, uh, I have a uh, great uh, Dakar, you know, from 2010, second place, uh, 2011 win, 2013, uh, 12, uh, it was not good. And then uh, I came back, you know, with the 4x4, 2014, uh, third place, 2015, uh, we win and 2016 we finished second. And uh, I think uh, we are, uh, our aim to, to win Dakar 2017 with the Toyota. Next it's stage three, a shorter but extremely challenging route. Yeah, tomorrow uh, another big day and uh, it's the first day we're going into the altitude. So today was the big day for a bit of uh, you know, tension for me. Tomorrow, if we can perform well at altitude, we know we can carry the race to the end. You know, um, that, that's a bit of my worry. So, a lot of navigation. Janil's in the perfect place. Ness is in a good place behind uh, Loeb. Loeb's got to open the road. I think that's going to be a challenge for him tomorrow. So, um, navigation will pay a part. It's another completely different day in Dakar, and uh, I'll be happy when it's over and analyze the results. That'll tell me where we are, really. Well, we're going to altitude tomorrow. First part of the stage is uh, 2,000 meters uh, average altitude. And then uh, we have a connection section. And then the next part is at, uh, I think, 3,800 meters average altitude. So that'll be a real test for us. So um, we'll just try and do our best and see how it goes. If we have a good day tomorrow, then I think, um, you know, the fight will be off. Tomorrow's stage will be really difficult to open, you know, but okay, we are start second car, you know, and we need to, to to make a good navigation, you know, because uh, the, the first uh, 40k it's very tricky, and then uh, we go in 3,000. I think uh, altitude uh, will be not easy, you know, for uh, for all cars and uh, also for the driver and co-driver. But okay, tomorrow day three, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Well, the Hilux is looking good, but there's still plenty of work to be done. The Dakar is never easy, and it only gets harder as each day progresses. Stage three awaits.